Thank you, Jeff. Another shooting in Savannah sends a man to the hospital with severe injuries. Metro officers are searching for two men, but they say the shooting victim is not cooperating. WJCL's Chelsea McDonald talked with city leaders and neighbors. She's working for you with more details. Well, the alderman for this district says in order to stop crime, neighbors must speak up. Women and children were in the house during this latest shooting on Savannah South Side, but the victim isn't helping officers with information. Just after gunfire erupted on this home on North Leeds Gate Road, Metro officers say two men who were talking to the shooting victim ran away. I heard about five gunshots. It was like a constant spray of like bullets, like five. It wasn't like semi-automatic. It was just like bop, 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 bop. One of the bullets hit 30-year-old Brandon Bostic. Metro police say he's not cooperating with the investigation, despite the fact that four children ages 6 through 13 and two women were home at the time. In order for the shootings and the violence to stop, you're going to have to work together, period. Alderman Estella Shabazz says if you're afraid to go to the police, go to your alderman. There's a trust situation going on in our city. So again, I'm saying they can come and talk with us. Taking a look at the crime in this area, you can see this isn't a high crime neighborhood. On North Leeds Gate Road, just one home burglary in June and the aggravated assault on Sunday. Since November 29th, there have been 182 aggravated assaults with a gun in the Metro Police District. That's up by 34 from last year. And we never had anything like this happen before. I'm, I'm really shocked because I didn't hear it, and it's pretty much a quiet neighborhood. And I, I haven't, since I've been, I've been here six years, and I haven't seen any violent crimes. Detectives are still searching for the two men who were talking to the victim. Alderman Shabazz is hosting a youth summit the day after Christmas to have a conversation about crime in Savannah. Reporting in the studio, Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you.